guys what you just seen was reworking the old luggage compartment i trimmed it cut it on both sides folded upwards that's going to be the beginning of the rear firewall back here uh, it leaves the whole transmission and engine exposed everything will be super easy to work on i uh, just got a couple odds and ends under here i gotta finish the brake lines i gotta get rid of that old piece of brake line which is pinched back in there uh do obviously a big clean up on that uh whole transmission case all the arms and whatnot but <clears throat> body wise that's what's going on here i will have to blend a piece around the corner here and also fuse it down into here but uh, first, before I do all that, since I have it in place, I want to go ahead and put the hatch on so I can kind of get a look at where it's going to sit versus the little firewall piece on the bottom. And uh, I will go from there. see I got the hatch on the back uh, I took a little tweaking for whatever reason even though this section of the hatch is the exact same as it used to be it's never been altered I cut below the mounting hardware specifically so I wouldn't run into problems for whatever reason though as you can see up here that top bolt hole did not line up when I when you close it this was a big gap. Uh, it's still got a little bit of gap. It's not 100% true all the way across. Uh, that's just something I'm going to have to live with. I mean, that's that's part of uh, building a rat rod. You know, when you can't guarantee anything is straight uh, using old sheet metal. And quite honestly, I don't know that it was straight when I started. Uh, but there it is. So that's what it's going to look like with the hatch. I'm going to open. It's going to have that underneath. Uh, it's going to be more finished, obviously. And I got to finish a little more up in those corners where I did those relief cuts, tuck all that back in, and re weld it. But that's where it's at. And I mean, the fit right there in the center isn't dead nuts perfect, but I mean, I'm uh, I'm okay with it. I mean, as you can see, the roof here isn't 100% true but it is what it is you know it's a little hot rod it's not got to be perfect so next things next is start grafting in some kind of corner piece here try to figure out some way of making it look like a little something over there and uh same with over here i'm thinking about taking this rear section that used to be the vents and cutting some of this curved section out uh, it looks rusty but in reality that's just undercoating and carpet glue but if i can cut that set it there and kind of turn it so that the curve goes up like this uh, i think that might work uh, if not i will be figuring out something else to close the back end of the body up uh, so it'll be trial and error so let me get back to it
just a quick look at what I was doing. Uh, I know that looks pretty jagged down in there, but I'll fix that once we get into it. I was removing that, uh, ah, sorry, that bracket right there off. Uh, once I get that done, I will be able to enclose this corner. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one over on this side off camera, and I will see you guys back here in a few minutes. Hey guys, uh, as you can see, I've got both corners done now oddly enough the one that was uh, on the far side that I did off camera went very smoothly compared to the first one which completely sucked uh, I got a nice neighbor back there who keeps cutting the same strip of grass a thousand times today I'm pretty sure it's because he knows that I'm recording uh, he's not a great neighbor uh, I had to complain and have the township come in and alter some trees because his tree is dropping like, I don't know, 8 to 12 inch uh, branches down on top of my garage. Quite honestly, I'm really tired of it. Uh, it's been an issue for two or three years and I guess they finally got around doing something so he's going to act like a a-hole because of it. Uh, that being said, I actually haven't been able to get out on this thing to work in like two weeks maybe, maybe three uh, since the last time I filmed the first part of this video. Uh, I'm not sure if you will be able to see it, but I did a new deck back there. Uh, the deck right in that area. We tore the old one out, put a bunch of composite down. Uh, that was uh, last weekend, last Saturday, all day. And then uh, Sunday it rained. It's pretty well rained all week so far here in Cincinnati. Uh, it's been miserable. Uh, this is Friday. We got a little bit of decent weather, so I'm back out here on it. Uh, supposedly it's going to be nice tomorrow. If that's the case, I'll get a little more film tomorrow. But let me uh, spin the camera around here, and I'll show you what I'm looking at doing. Okay, as you see, we have the curve of the original fender right there. And this piece here is tucked in, tacked. So really what I need is a sheet that goes right across there that can suit that curve. Well, I got looking at it and debating on beating sheet metal and trying to get it. And then at work, I came across these. These are uh, steel metal buckets, sheet metal buckets, I guess. They are used by the iron workers. Uh, they get giant nuts and bolts and stuff in them. But what I was thinking is cutting the bottom off and the top lip off, actually probably at this line right here, and see if I can't take a section of that and invert that curve right here under this body line. So that's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna uh, put you guys on a time lapse so you don't have to hear this lawnmower behind me and uh, we will go from there. I don't know, I figure he's got about another two hours of cutting the same four feet of grass before he'll get tired. So, wish me luck.
Well, you run into this a lot. Uh, anytime you're building anything custom. Uh, I think that right there is how it's gonna go. Kind of square it up, maybe cut it down this seam. But uh, there's really just no good way of measuring and marking the whole area. So I'm gonna have to try to slide it in somewhere, start it, get it pinched in, and then go from there. Um, I might grab a couple of my clamps and clamp it top and bottom here and see what I can do with that. So let me go grab a couple clamps and I'll be right back. see what we can do. That's not going to be cooperative either. So, we'll try it up here first. <laughs> either too tight or not tight enough. There she goes. I think I can make that work. I will get it tacked down this side. Once we can take the clamps off, take this and bend it back up towards this section here. Uh, it won't be enclosed, but that'll get the basic form. And in this area over here, I will uh, take my handy dandy mallet and uh, give it a little persuasion to get into the right spot. So let me. Uh, Get my welder stuff pulled over here without knocking you over, hopefully. Yeah, maybe not. The joys of not having blacktop or concrete to work on. Uh, I've got a little carport here that needs to tore down, and I've got a uh, really, really old blacktop, maybe in the 30s. Uh, the house was built in late 1800s, uh, 1899. So it's pretty old and uh, not exactly good quality, I'll say. Hopefully that ground will work here. Wish me luck.
<laughs> She's holding on there. She is not pretty, as my world usually are not. But, uh, man, the male there was completely unhooked already. And uh, this one, I'm going to unhook and relocate up here. A little further up. Now, now that that's in there, I can massage this tip a little bit. Alright. Now that's kind of con concave it towards the uh, original curve of the body. So I'll throw my hook back on, give it a tack there, and that section there will be done. Well, at least the rough end will be done. I think I'm going to put you guys back on a time lapse because uh, the rest of this probably is going to be a lot of beating until I get that thing situated. Uh, once I get it all beat up and uh, tacked down, at least on this one side, I will cut you guys back on. So, see you here in just a few minutes. Alright guys, as you can see, I got the corners both... Uh, burned in they're not perfect but yeah it pretty well did what i wanted to do uh the top even though they're not done as you can see i folded over to make a finished edge i'm going to tack weld them on the back to keep that lip held um it really solidified that section there i mean you can still flex it it is sheet metal but you got to push on it pretty dang hard but that's where we're at for the evening. So that being said, I think I'm going to call it a night. Uh, been up since 4.30. Uh, went to work at 5, so it's been a long day. I think it's 8.30ish or so now. Um, I want to go in and edit this video and throw it out. So, uh, you know, sorry it took so long. Uh, thanks for watching Broke But Functioning Garage. And we'll see more of the Rat King Rat Rod here in the near future. Thanks for watching.